It would be bad if something, uh, something happened. Whoops, gotta do that all over again. Hey, kiddo. Preschooler Pistons! Full power! What the heck? Now I'm gonna beat the world of adults with my, like, one Pokemon! Preschooler Caleb. Spearow. This is our first encounter with the Spearow after that attack on the bridge. I am more than happy to take this thing out immediately. Preschooler Pistons! Stop! <laughs> If the preschooler pistons stop, Pokemon get them moving for me. That is a weird thing to say. What the heck, Delibird? <sighs> Delibird has hold of your bag and won't let go. It seems to want you to follow it into the berry fields. Oh, all right. Is something going on in the berry fields? Get in there, I need my berry supply <laughs> kept safe. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's Team Skull. You got a lame bunch of berries! Now Skulls, uh, now Team Skull's your adversaries! Taking berries off your hands is just the start of our plans, yo! Let's get figgy with it! Watch while I nab me some berries! I'll share my berries for free with any Pokemon, but you'll not have a single one from me! So what? I'm lower than a Pokemon? I already got self-esteem issues, man! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And what are you looking at? Huh? 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 Yo, hold up! You're... You got a bone to pick with us, homie? You and Cap may have beat us at the marina, but you won't be so lucky if we get serious, yo! I appreciate your, your concern, child, but these Team Skull Punks do nothing but talk big and act small. You carry on with your island challenge. Don't give them a moment's notice. Yo, we're standing right here! At least act a little bit of a friend. <laughs> At least act a little bit afraid or something, you know? <laughs> Yo, you trying to run away? We're gonna have to take your Pokemon along with the berries. Yo, check out how hard-headed Team Skull Grunts can be. Oh my god, are they gonna double fight me? I don't recommend that. Uh, is it gonna be Grunt B or Grunt A? Or both? You're challenged by Team Skull Grunt. It doesn't even tell me. It's just like, it's either of them. They look exactly the same. Oh, this is definitely A. He has a drowsy. Yeah, my Pokemon's evolved since our last battle. You'll find that this is a little bit tougher. Can you imagine battling a kid as like a villain? And then like 20 minutes later, they come around and their Pokemon's even better. <laughs> That's it, I knew you could do it. I don't know. I don't know if that's like something like my guy just says because of our bond, or maybe it's thinking I'm saying stuff towards my cat. Like, oh, I'm saying words, so that means your attack should be stronger. That's it, I know you can do it. Oh, what the heck is pursuit? Let's find out, it's a dark move. Uh, the power of this attack move is doubled if it's used on a target that's switching out of battle. Ooh. That's... different. <laughs> I will replace focus energy with that. Yo, I'm feeling mad and annoyed that my team just got destroyed! <laughs> Uh, little guy. I don't know how you got wet at all, but we're just gonna say you got really worked up in the heat of the battle. Whoops. Why is my sound lower? No! Whoa, I almost dropped my phone. My phone, not my phone, my, my game. Hold on, I have to adjust my sound. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, it was actually just my headset's cable. Oh, look at him just treading on the ground. There you go, I'll give you another head pat. Okay. Well, we beat Team Skull again. They tried to steal some berries. Now we can get some berries of our own. Yo, for real? You best stop trying to act hard, kid. Yo, I'm so annoyed right now, homie. Let's go mess with a Lima again. Oh yeah, let's do it. Verdant Cavern's close, or pretty close by anyway. And you, you better listen to what my boy says and drill it into that sk thick skull of yours. For real. You'd better not forget, numbskull. <laughs> These fools. Uh oh, you and that door cat there did quite the number on him. Allow me to thank you for driving off those Team Skull numbskulls. You obtained an Orin Berry. Thank you. Orin Berries can restore some of a Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let one hold a berry and they'll eat it when they need it. If you're ever looking for more berries, you won't have to look very hard. <laughs> Berries grow like, well, weeds here in Alola, so feel free to pick up any fine. Enough with all this helping folk out of pinches, let's get to that trial at last, kiddo! <laughs> Hello, young one. Are you interested in becoming a berry master? Sure. You look quite promising. All right, first of all, get a person berry. What the heck's a person berry? Oh, well, there you go. There are still more berries beneath the tree. More berries! Okay, we got all of them out from there. Let me see, did you get a person berry? Whoa, you have a person berry! I don't know if you picked it up from a berry tree or your Pokemon had it, but that's great! Now that's a great start to becoming a berry master. Now I'll offer this as a reward. He gives me citrus berry, okay. A person berry heals confusion. A Pekka berry heals poison status. And a citrus berry restores more HP than an orange berry. Alola is great! You can get plenty of berries without planting berries in a berry field. But some Pokemon gather around trees trying to get berries as well. I see. It's a berry tree. I want to learn more about berries. Those are obviously going to be incredibly valuable. Well, I can't do anything about these. They're empty. But maybe he has berries in his house! Oh god, look at all these Della birds. <laughs> Holy crap! One, two, three, four, five. He has six Della birds if we count the one from outside. That's pretty amusing. I guess these kinds of birds would be really useful for gathering berries. They stuck it in the bag, or they stick it in the bags and then head up. Okay. Well, before I go to the cavern or whatever, did we ever check out this area over here? No, we did not. Hello! It's a nice motel, isn't it? We're always doing our best here, so I'm sure you can understand why we're all booked up. If you're off on your island challenge, then you'll need the help of many different Pokemon. I don't know, my Torcat's kicking some pretty good butt. I like that, uh, he recognized that I was using a Torcat. I don't know if that's like a... Like an acknowledgement of just the fact that my Lin has evolved, or if it's legitimately just, Oh, you used that cat. Like, if I had just focused and only used my, say, Pichu or something, would that have made a difference? Sigh, so you've got a Pokemon of a Pokedex then, have you? Then I'll give you some nest balls. Why are you sighing? Sigh, nest balls make it easy to catch Pokemon that are weak. The lower the level, the easier it is. Got it. Okay. Hmm. I think I finally nailed my hairstyle, but now my makeup doesn't seem to match. Hmm. Oh, I know why you're sighing now. That's right, man. Respect your lady. She just wants to make sure she looks good for herself! Feeling good about yourself is something that everybody deserves. Do we ever read the sign for this? All Pokemon are welcome here. I want to learn the secrets of berries, man! And how they grow in comparison to before. All right. Trying to take another person's Pokemon makes you no different than a thief. Pokemons are only supposed to be used to catch po Pokemon or wild Pokemon that have no trainers. It's alright, I haven't tried. I know how it goes. Uh-oh. This lady's just sitting here trying to ambush people. But I ambush you instead! Ha-ha! Oh, Lola! What do you think? I'm pretty good at greetings, huh? I'm also great at Pokemon battles! You know, one day someone will claim this and they'll be right. 
I'm amazing at Pokemon battles! You are challenged by Backpacker Ashley! What the heck is a Cockney? Whoa! That's gonna die! That's totally a grass Pokemon! Yeah, I'm sorry, little buddy. Anger Kitty, Kitty seems confused about your fashion. What the? Are you judging my looks? Excuse you. You're not allowed to do that. Oh no, not a stun sport. You gotta be. Oh. Right now, I gotta rub medicine on Tor Kitty after this, or Tor Cat. <laughs> it got to move up before I was ready. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, all right, little buddy, just give me one second. I gotta do something. All right, buddy. Sorry for leaving you hanging. We're gonna get that medicine on you, see if you feel all better. I had to look away for a bit, so he's just been kind of sitting here moping about for like a few minutes. Thankfully, it doesn't look like anything happens if you just leave him hanging. He's just like, I don't feel too great. I got electricity sparking all over me. I'm just not gonna do much. Yeah, we got him to max affection. At least I think we did. Yes, we did. Don't know about enjoyment, but we got his affection up to max. There you go. Have a have a bean. I still- I'm still mad at you, Torcat, for judging my fashion sense. Gosh. The awesomeness of your Pokémon! You should take on the world! Ah, oh, that's my plan! Uh, mostly. <laughs> what the heck is that? Uh-huh. Well, we have a cutie fly, which looks like it's a bug Pokemon. Not hit with a scratch. Wow. It tried to take a bit of my life. How dare you? That's all right. Just gonna hit you with a Pokeball. Even if I don't necessarily want a cutie fly, it looks weird. It's like a flying mosquito. Who wants a mosquito as their Pokemon? It probably evolves into something a little cooler looking. That's usually the case for weird things like this. Level 18. I have no idea how slow or fast I'm going. Like, we're level 18 and we keep on fighting against like level 8 to 10 Pokemon. Maybe I should rush a little bit more. But I like checking out everything. Okay. It feeds on the nectar and pollen of flowers. Because it's able to sense auras, it can identify which flowers are about to blo a bloom. Aww. Well, it's a bug fairy type. That's interesting. I thought it was gonna be like something else. Still, don't need it. Don't need it. Oh god, there was a Pokemon in the grass, I didn't notice. It's Makuhita again! What else would be effective against Makuhita? Abra doesn't have anything but teleport, so he's useless at the moment. What about my Pichu? Thunderstrike, yeah, we'll just stick with Anger Kitty then. I looked up a little bit of information on Pikachu. Uh, so it looks like we're probably just gonna keep my- whenever my Pichu evolves into Pikachu, we're gonna keep it a Pikachu until- until it gets some of the higher level abilities. So we're probably gonna keep it Pikachu until level 60 or something. If I'm still using Pikachu by the time it's level 60. Yeah. 
Hey there, little buddy, don't worry. We'll get this sand off you. It doesn't look like sand. I guess it's because I expect sand to be more of like a tanny yellowish color. You know, on, like on beaches and stuff. Oh, you're just- I'm burning you. Not gonna have the gall to show me a new Pokémon type, huh? Ember, super effective! The way that, uh... Torcat fires its Ember attack makes it seem like it's firing a cannon. Poof! Launch itself back. Wait, what? Poison powder? Oh, sure! Why not? There, we got rid of String Shot. And now we can poison enemies if we want to. Wait, what? Stun Spore? Oh, jeez. Yeah, sure, just have every kind of type you can, buddy. Sleep? Holy crap, buddy! I don't know if we should have Sleep Powder. We have Confusion. We have poison, we have stun. Get out of here with this. Oh god dang it. I don't want my Pokemon to have literally only stas affecting moves. Although cool options, I suppose. Found a revive. Oh, cool. If I ever lose a Pokemon, we got that. <gasps> is this a Pokemon Center? Oh, snap. Oh, God. Do you see the kid? Stare. Well, we'll take you out. Don't you worry. How about you, old man? Now, this guy definitely would have a southern accent. He's got a farmer look at everything. I'm looking for berries to have my Pokemon hole. Everyone's got a southern accent here in Alola, the Hawaiian based region. Pokemon Breeder J! Oh, he has a Butterfree too! That's cute! You and Anger Kitty are breathing in perfect sync with one another! That is a weird thing to care about. We're so in bond, our breathing is at the same rate! Holy crap, we got a lot of XP from that. 258. Oh, if only I'd given Butterfree a berry to hold. <laughs> Buddy, your Pokemon died in one shot. It, it wouldn't matter. Berries lie at the base of trees. After all, that's why they're berries. Do all trees have berries? You're saying this with two berries trees next to you. You make me wonder. Hey, little girl. Look how ready she was for a fight. Wee! Wee! It's a battle! A battle! I don't know if I want to see what she's like as an adult. She's gonna, like, kill people. Woo! It's a battle! Sends out a max party of, like, super dragons. Or she can have bugs. You know, whatever. Hey, some bug Pokemons are actually cool. Like a Scyther? I'd use a Scyther. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Because I'm edgy like that. I'm just killing everything in one shot. At some point, I need to just like swap out different Pokemon for variety's sake. But we haven't even gotten through our first like challenge. What the heck is nasty plot? The user stimulates its brain by thinking bad thoughts and raises its special attack stat. That's a really funny thing to have for a Pichu. I'm gonna grab it. Why? I lost! <laughs> hey, trainer! What's throw a ball with the Y button mean? What's it mean? <laughs> That's funny. She doesn't know how to capture other Pokemon. 
How's it, Gom? Your Pokemon doing all right? Yeah, fine. Well, I know my team's seen better days, that's for sure. Come on, Gom, let's stop by the PMC. The Pokemon Center? You know that Verdant Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go in unless you're on, the, on your pilot challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Gum, you lucky thing. Oh, snap, three revives. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in battle and can't go on, then a revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Did you know that Pokemon sometimes sell different things? And not just that, the two clerks at the counter even sell different things from one another. I think I'll get myself a treat at the cafe to put myself up before trying the first trial. That sounds like a great idea too. It's finally time to take on that Illumach character. I'm tingling with ele uh, excitement. Or just electricity. <laughs> okay. Here at our cafe, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. Oh, you've given your Pokemon 90 Poke Beans. I think I'll give you a present. Oh snap, dude, they just give you consistently rare candy. Try giving your Pokemon some Poke Beans when your island challenge gets tough. What can I get started for you today? Hit me up with some Tapu Coco. <laughs> uh, Tapu Coco will be at 198. Yeah, all right. You know, I had a hot chocolate the other day. That was nice. I had to like go inside. I was like, yeah, maybe it'll be slightly warm when I get out. And it was just hot. Like 30 minutes afterwards, man, insulation is, is incredible. Here you are, one Tapu Coco just for you. When your advantages have tired you out, it's time to relax with a hot cup of Tapu Coco. You'll love it ice, too. Those who keep moving have more time than those who don't move at all. That's not some kind of riddle, it's a scientific fact. Once I learned that, I started to more carefully consider how I spend my time. That is an interesting thought. Please come visit us again soon. Okay. Hello. Whenever I'm sleeping, my Ori Kori. Oh, I've never heard of this one. My, my Ori Corio comes in at some point and falls asleep on my tummy. Oh, that's adorable. What about you? Hey, have you got a moment? You live here in Alola, right? Uh, recently. I've got a favor I'd like to ask. Do you mind? Sure. Well, thank you. I'm so glad that you would listen to a request from a total stranger like me. I'm actually here in Alola with my darling hubby. It's our honeymoon. He saw this Pokemon called Cutie Fly in Route 3, and it seems like my hubby was totally smitten with it. We don't have it back home, you see. He said it was too cute for words, with a yellow body and long, pointy proboscis. Anyway, I wanted to ask if you could catch one of those cutie fly for me. If I know what kind of Pokemon it is, then I can probably go catch one myself. Like I said, I think there's somewhere in Route 3. If you catch one and come back to show me its Pokedex entry, I can pay you for your trouble. I got it! What? You've caught cutie fly? Then would you mind showing me your decks? Hmm, so it sucks up pollen and nectar from flowers using that funny long proboscis it has? It's pretty cute! I wouldn't mind one of these buzzing around me. Proboscis. <laughs> Actually, I think I might want to get one of these cutie fly for myself now. Let me at least pay you for like I promised first. This is all I have, but it's yours. 3,000, holy crap. Thank you, young trainer. I'll go look for some cutie fly at once. What a weird lady. Oh, so it uses its proboscis to get into pollen and nectar, huh? That's so intriguing! I think I should get one for myself! It's still, it's like a, it's like a mosquito, man! It's just with flowers instead of people. Ah, he's still trying to think of a treat for himself. What about you? If you give your Pokemon berries to hold, they can eat them when they need to in battle. But manufactured healing items like potions are no good as held items. Pokemon can't use them on their own. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Hello, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Have you caught Spiro? Will you trade it for my Machop? I don't have a Spiro. I see. If you change your mind, please let me know. Okay, what do you got? Apparently, different Pokemon marks have different kinds of items. This guy doesn't sell any good or better Pokemon or Pokeball still. What's an item we have zero of? Repel, escape rope, ice heal, burn heal. I'll buy a burn heal or two. 
Just in case I don't find one by the time a Pokemon suffers a burn in the middle of a battle. Okay. Farewell, friend. And what about you? What other things do you have? Super potions? Ooh, he sells different types of Pokemon. A particularly comfortable Pokeball that makes a wild Pokemon quickly grow friendlier after being caught. Hey, that's the one we saw earlier. I'll take- whoa, 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 whoa. I'll take three. Three luxury balls. I don't know if I'll ever use them, because I don't know which Pokemons use friendliness... ...amazingly, but... It's a neat item to have. Ooh, berries! Hold up. Let me talk to this guy first. If a Pokemon move lands as a critical hit, it will deal 50% more damage! Uh, you say that just after I overlook dire hit, which improves the chance to hit people. Oh, can't you just make me grab every single berry at once? Alright. I should probably give my Pokemon berries. Just have something to heal themselves when the time comes. Oh, a Growlithe! Oh, I'm absolutely capturing that! Oh, we need a- we need a swap. Okay. All right, grab him. Let's see what we can do. It's level seven, it's so low. I'd kill it in an instant with a uh, Tor Cat. Okay. Bite it. No! Not Growlithe! Oh. I want a Growlithe. It's just a cool Pokemon. It's so adorable. Come on, grab him. We're going on a hunt for our Pokemon. And we find another rat attack. Ugh. What happens if I use 3D while playing? Oh, you guys don't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> tackle versus tackle. Which one will win? It's gonna be Grabums. Of course, it's gonna be Grabums. It's more prepared for battles than everything else. Is that we're gonna ever learn anything besides teleport? God, we gotta keep it around for like ever. Same thing with Pichu. Yes, Growlithe! Okay, little guy. Good, that's better! We're gonna hit you with, uh, Tackle. Yeah, alright! Unless we get a critical hit, Growlithe should live this attack. Okay. Well, come on into my luxury ball, Growlithe. Such a cool looking Pokeball. All right, if I ever bring out Growlithe, or, you know, evolve it into its other forms and throw it out. We'll have a cool looking Pokeball. And it'll be slightly more friendly with us. Okay. It's finally time for us to head into the cavern. Oh, look how happy it is. It's both clever and loyal, but if a stranger tries to invade its territory, it barks threateningly. <laughs> look how cute it is. Okay, Growlithe, you just stay in the, the, the box. Alright, 
let's head into the cavern. Bam, and just in case, we'll bring in... Actually, Grabbins is legitimately, like... My second best Pokemon at the moment. So I might as well keep them around as the second part of the second person. In case we have to do any double battles in there. You're up late! Don't you talk to me like that. I'm an adult. I can have a messed up sleeping schedule anytime I want. Is Hal still in here? Yeah, he's still deciding what he wants. That's funny. Okay, you know, I should probably stay before we head inside. I'll do it at the front. I wish you could have safe slots, but, eh, whatever. Verdant Cavern, de designated trial site for the island challenge. Greetings, Captain Illuma here. And my trial... begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokémon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you prepared some potions and so forth. Through attempting the trials during the island challenge, one can exceed his or her limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter the Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you've completed the trial. Are you prepared? Yes! I'll be waiting for you! Time for training! Time for trials! Time for us to storm that Verdant Cavern! Yeah... The fact that I, we can't leave until uh, we're done with the trial itself means I should probably be a little bit more prepared. We're gonna buy nine more potions. Yeah. If I ever have to heal 20 times in one go, I know I was facing a tough, tough challenge. Just the absolute toughest thing ever. Oh boy. It's intimidating. So intimidating, I think I'll take a bit of a break. Get a snack in me. And then we can really tackle this place. So I'll be right back, viewers.